My name's Alan Hart, and in today's video, we're going to look at how to become a gas engineer. So I've teamed up with Richard from Viva Training. So over to Richard. So yeah, great video that we're going to put together to show you the full journey of a, an MLP, someone that wants to come into the industry and become a gas engineer. We're going to go through all the different systems and processes that we're going to, you're going to experience on the course. Um, you'll have seen a lot of this on some of Alan's channel in his videos and all that sort of stuff, the stuff that we've worked together on. Our trainers have done loads of content. We've done loads of stuff with Alan on the channel, and we just want to give you a really in-depth view to what's going to occur during that journey. One of the first things you're going to do, you're going to do an induction when you come to Viva Training, and you're going to go through some health and safety. You're going to go through how combustion works, and then also then you're going to move on to some pipe work faults. So I've just got Richard here, and Richard's going to go and show us a few other pipe work faults. So pipe work, gas pipe work and installations. We've got a, a mock-up board here of some really bad pipe work installations to illustrate to you what you're looking out for and how not to and how to do your installations around the gas meter and then from the gas meter. There's different types of connections, different ways to put valves, different types of valves, different ways to seal pipes and stuff and ways to not seal pipes. So there's a lot of um, knowledge to be gained on how to do your installation within a property. So over to you Al to talk about pipe work and bending. Thanks for that Rich. So then we'll be looking at some pipe work and installation. So we'll be looking at a bit of pipe bending, we'll look at some old style pipe bending, a bit of spring bending there, although we won't be using a spring these days, we'd use a pipe bender. And we'd also do some practical work, so we'd pipe some boiler jigs up. We've got lots of boiler jigs in here and you better do that as part of your gas training. So now back over to Richard for some tightness testing. Thanks Al. So tightness testing is a part of the course. We're going to look at the manometer. We're going to make sure it's clean. We're going to make sure that the tube is free of any holes so that it's not leaking. We look at the gas meter. There's some visual checks that you'd make on the gas meter, that it's got a sticker, that the levers fall into off, not to on. Uh, various things around the, the gas meter for visual inspections before you even begin your tightness test. But the tightness test is about the integrity of the gas installation in the property. And that's what you're going to learn all about when you're in centre. So over to Al for the gas distribution network. Thank you for that, Rich. So gas distribution, what is natural gas? Where does natural gas come from? Get national grid, your pipe work in your grid, ends to gas appliances, and then a gas supply overview. So we'll go over to Richard now for gas emergency action and procedures. Thanks for that, Al. As part of this course, we're going to cover gas emergency actions and procedures, labels and notices. We've got uh, under no circumstances do you place yourself in danger. So it's all about safety. The biggest aspect of the whole gas course is gas safety, safeguarding life, safeguarding property, finding and securing escapes and carrying out final checks when you're on the patch. Um, what you do if you see a, a leak, how to detect a leak, all the procedures and emergency procedures around that depend on the severity. We've got, uh, well, this is a, an example of what happens, worst case scenario. Uh, we don't want to see this. And the biggest emphasis of the whole gas course is safety. It's all about safety. And this covers all the aspects of how we work safely, really. So this is the book, um, or one of the books. There's lots of standards, lots of books, but this is a book that focuses on uh, the safety in the installation use of the gas systems and appliances. So you'll get very familiar with this book as part of the course. Now over to you Al, looking at some gas meters. So another thing you, you're going to be looking at on your uh, managed learning program is gas meters. So you'll be looking at the different types of gas meters. You'll be looking at medium pressure and low pressure systems as well. You'll also be doing things like gas rating learning how to gas rate and you better do that longhand yourself as well so when you go and do your ACS you better learn and understand how to do that as well and now we'll go over to Richard to talk about flues thanks Al so here you see a load of room sealed fan assisted flues these are the, probably the most common flu that you'll see out on the patch and we're going to be looking at things like precast flues as well so with a precast flu we've got a starter blocks here We'd be looking at what starter blocks you're allowed. So normally we'd have three starter blocks. We would look in the installation instructions for that. Also look at inspecting the flu, looking up the flu, seeing if there's any restrictions in there. We call them snots. And that's where the blocks go on top of each other. Sometimes the cement can push it together and then it would restrict the flu 
inside. And we've got a chimney, chimney configuration. It's got a fire back boiler in with a flue liner running through. You're also gonna learn about open flues, the different types of flues. And one thing to point out as well, if you do enjoy this format of video, if you could put some comments below and put a like on there and please subscribe if you can. And myself and Viva, me and Richard, we're gonna do much more of this type of video for you. But going back to open flues, we'll be checking for, make sure the starter block's in the right position, make sure flues are on correctly, and supports, etc. So all about open flues. So there are all types of different flues, including flueless gas appliances. This cooker is a flueless gas appliance. The fire is a flueless gas appliance. And you'll learn more about all those things on the training course. Over to Alan for some gas pipe sizing. An important thing that we'll be looking at on a gas training course, we'll be looking at pipe sizing. So how to size pipe work. And this is often missed on sometimes when people are installing boilers, they don't always install boilers and size the gas pipe work correctly. So we'd be going through that gas pipe sizing on the training course. And now we're gonna over, go over to Richard for purging. So something else that we'll be including during the course is purging, purging gas pipe work. When we service or install some of the gas uh, appliances, you can get air in the gas pipe work. And this is looking at safely evacuating the air from the gas pipe work without filling the room with gas. Now over to you Al for flue gas analyzers. On your gas training, you're also going to learn about flue gas analysers and the importance of a flue gas analyser and where you would use it. So a lot of the time on boilers, if we're going to do a boiler service, we would need to use a flue gas analyser. We would put that in the flue. So we put that in the flue and you better get your readings. You're going to be looking for things like carbon monoxide. And to talk a little bit more about carbon monoxide, we'll go over to Richard. Thanks, Al. So part of the course, you're going to be learning about carbon monoxide, carbon monoxide poisoning, um, and the effects of carbon monoxide poisoning. It can be dizziness right through to unconsciousness and fatal. To prevent this, in homes we have carbon monoxide detectors. Not all these devices that look like carbon monoxide detectors are carbon monoxide detectors. You've got smoke alarms, wired carbon monoxide detectors, wireless, so battery powered, and you've got the dot. Not particularly great, but you've got the dot. But you're going to learn all about these different carbon monoxide detectors and smoke alarms during the course. Now over to Al to talk about the different types of gas boiler. On your gas training, you'll also learn about boilers and the different types of boilers. So here we've got an open fluid boiler. So you'll learn about the flues and different types of flues for different boilers. We've also got a combi boiler here. This works a little bit differently where flue goes to the outside. There's also back boilers, heat only boilers, there's all types of boilers and you'll learn about that on the training course. So now we'll go back over to Richard and Richard's gonna go through other gas appliances. Thanks Al. Part of the course, we're gonna be looking at gas appliances. We're gonna be looking at outset gas fires like this one, inset gas fires, fire back boilers, cookers, water heaters. With fires, we'll be disassembling them, inspecting them, looking at the controls, looking at how they go together with water heaters. Water heaters, you don't find so many water heaters in properties these days, but they are still there. So we'll show you the safety aspects of them and how to test them. It's part of your ACS as well. And with the fire back boilers, obviously stripping them down, servicing them, commissioning them. There's not so many about, but again, you'd be familiar with all these different gas appliances and cookers. Cookers are in so many homes, gas cookers, and it's the safety devices, it's the installation, it's the inspection, and making sure that they're running safe for, for people in their homes. So, over to Alan for some talk about controls. Thank you for that, Richard. As well as looking at the appliances themselves, we've also got some control rigs. So this is, this is a boiler, so this is a back boiler. So you can demonstrate the controls and understand how the controls work. We've also got different appliances here. So this is out of a normal gas boiler. And we've also got a cooker here with a pull down flap. So you'll be able to learn and understand the controls as well as just seeing the appliances. Now we'll go over to Richard to talk about the basic electrics and safety to do with electrics. Thanks Al. So basic electrics is a part of the course. We'll teach you all about basic electrics. Most gas appliances now have got 230 volts going to them. So we must, we must learn how to do our safe to touch and safe isolation procedures. We'll also be looking at 
wiring, so two-part valves, three-part valves, central heating systems. This is all electrical stuff that you'll learn as part of the course. So over to Al for ventilation. Thanks again for that, Richard. So part of the gas training course, you'll also cover ventilation. And this is a very important part for a gas engineer. We need to understand ventilation, understand when we need ventilation, and also how to size ventilation. And that will, we'll go into that in great detail on the course. Now over to Richard for British standards. Thanks, Al. So part of your training is looking at the British standards. The British standards condense down into your gas manual. You'll be out on the patch with your gas manual for reference. If your gas manual doesn't cover something that you're working with, then you might have to refer back to the British standards. So in the classroom setting, we'll take you through the British standards, which British standard applies to which appliance type or installation of pipework and so on and so forth. And then you'll understand where you need to go with this. Okay, so over to you Al for boiler servicing and your 26.9 checks. Thanks for that, Richard. So your 26.9 checks, this is an important check that we need to do as a gas engineer. Whenever you're working on any gas appliance, you need to make sure that it's working safely. So we need to check the flue. We need to check the air to make sure that it's got enough air going to it. That could be for cooling, or it could be to feed the appliance for, for working safely. We also need to check that it's burning correctly. So we'd be checking burner pressure or the gas rate or both. We're also gonna check that it's working safely. So for instance, if it's a gas boiler, we might be checking the installation instructions and we'll be checking whatever the manufacturer requires to make sure that that gas appliance is working safely. And now we're gonna go over to Richard to have a look at different types of central heating systems. Thanks, Al. We're gonna cover lots of different types of central heating system during your gas training course. We've got S plans, Y plans, S plan plus, gravity fed hot water, prep mains pressure hot water, stored hot water. There's lots of different ways of configuring central heating systems and you're gonna learn all about central heating systems during the course. So also part of the guest training, you'd need to build a portfolio. So you'll spend some time at Viva and you'll spend loads of time at Viva doing training on different boilers, installing boilers, putting boilers onto jigs, testing gas meters, etc., etc. You'll do all that stuff, but part of it, you'll also build a portfolio. And what that means is you'll actually go out with gas engineers and Richard can tell us a little bit more about that. Sure, sure. So we have um, some partners that we, we in, are in partnership with that are businesses that are installing lots of gas appliances, whether this is gas boilers on a daily basis or gas cookers on a daily basis. And we align you with the right people as close to your home as we can so that you can get some real hands-on experience with real engineers like Alan. So we've had people out with Alan doing portfolio training, skilled, amazing engineers that are really going to show you how to go on out on the patch, building this portfolio, collecting your evidence, which all goes to as part of your managed learning programme. Your managed learning programme is a, is a complete certificated programme. So that's part of it. That gets complete. Once that's all complete and signed off, that makes you eligible to go in for your ACS assessment then. Good, good stuff. Um, and there's lots more that's involved. We this is a short video today, well it's quite long actually, but we can't include everything in this style of video. So there's, there's a bit more involved or quite a lot more involved. So, but we are doing some more videos on that. So just like, subscribe, follow, all that good stuff and you'll see some of them videos coming up. But if you've got any questions, put some comments below. We'll try and answer them best, best we can. Me and Richard are gonna spend a lot of time on this now. Um, have you got what else to say, Richard? Uh, just, you'll enjoy the course. We do everything to a really high standard. We employ the best people to give you the best experience and the, and the best start into the industry. For us, it's far more than just a start into the industry. We want to support you through your career. That's why we build things like the Boiler Studio. That's why we have great relationships and friendships with people like Alan Art. And we're producing all this content to support you on your journey way after you've left the center. And the center's here to continue your journey whether you want to go into renewables in further down the line as a great eating engineer, if you want to get great at fixing stuff, you know, whatever you want to do, there's loads of niches and we're here to support you right through that journey. So thank you for watching. As I've said before, if you've got any questions, put them in comments below. If you want to find out more about gas training, then please feel free to email Viva Training. I will put a link in the description below. And yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks.